our expert panel again. And uh, we're adding Rene Sandler, criminal defense attorney. Okay, uh, first of all, is this defense strategy simply, oh, we're going to take every incriminating thing that Jody ever said and spin it, put our own own spin on it, like, oh, yeah, I said no jury will ever convict me. Yeah, because I was about to commit suicide. Is this just the start of that spin, Rini? Look, she owned it. I'm going to go with brilliant. So far, I think brilliant defense strategy. They're telling the story. They are coming through on the promises they made to that jury from the beginning of this trial. So she owned it. And it's the biggest lie she told, other than she didn't do it. And she's setting up a very plausible defense. Uh, J.D. Weintraub. I agree. I completely agree. You know, the problem is going to be, and we won't be able to assess it properly until it's told by cross-examination as well, looking at it in hindsight. But the bottom line is, today, I thought it was a great answer. It was convincing. And as far as the abuse is concerned, I think it's an important bottom line foundation for this girl. It's not oh, just please. looking for love in all the wrong Lieberman. places. I disagree. Jane, I'll tell you I, why. Yeah. I'll tell you I, why. Hope. Because she was immune to it, and she didn't, she didn't get scared from it, because that's the way she was brought up. I'm sure there's tons of corroboration. This is a death case. They don't make this stuff up. They have other witnesses to corroborate that. John. Well, I disagree with the, what the two said about a plausible defense. I mean, I don't think, at the end of the day, when she is done on the stand, I don't think anybody is going to believe her defense. I think the sole purpose for putting her on is to save her life because a jury is going to have a hard time looking her in the face and putting her to death when they heard about her bad childhood and the bad relationships. But I don't think that she's going to have a plausible defense of self-defense because we are going to hear Mr. Martinez tear into her about her credibility. She will have no credibility by the time she leaves the stand. She doesn't have any credibility now. It's already been established she's a pathological liar. But unfortunately or fortunately, I think that she is going to be believable to the jury. That's how I think it's going to play out. Even though we may not believe her because we know she's a liar, the jurors don't have all the information that we have. They don't have the big picture. They just got this very soft-spoken, innocent-sounding young lady on the stand telling her story. And if the prosecution gets too rough on cross-examination, they might sympathize with her more. On the other side, your calls. For